slime like you in the White House, I'd puke on you. You're despicable. You're a piece of You're screaming and yelling at these kind of abstract, sort of vague targets. You fat Shut up. He was like, before Bill O'Reilly, Rush Limbaugh, and Glenn Beck were household names in the conservative talk show world, there was Morton Downey Jr. His time on TV was brief, but it was provocative and explosive, and that is all explored in a new film called Evocateur, the Morton Downey Jr. movie. We have the three filmmakers right here beside us. We've got Daniel Miller, Seth Kramer, and Jeremy Newberg. Thanks, guys, for being here. Now, your film's showing at the Tribeca Film Festival right now. Do most people going in to watch it even remember who Morton Downey Jr. was? I think there'll be some familiarity with his name, but I, I think our whole message was to try and introduce a whole new audience to the wonderment that is Morton Downey Jr. And he was very flamboyant. I mean, he's known for things like saying zip it and the chair throwing. I mean, he really uh, was one of the forerunners in this very aggressive talk show format. What was it that made you guys want to delve into the topic of Morton Downey Jr. right now at this at this point in time? Right. Well, it's 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 a very timely issue because he was really one of the one of the earlier uh, populist entertainers on television. I mean, he was you know out there blasting the liberals every every night. And it was really it was great stuff. Um, his time sort of came and went. We thought it'd be interesting to take a look at not just reviving Downey to let us all live through him again. It's really enjoyable stuff. But to take a look at the role of the populist entertainer today. Did you think that Morton Downey Jr. was more out there than the current talk show hosts, or do you think it's, he was sort of tame compared to some of them? I, I think that he uh, sort of paved the road for them in a way in uh, allowing for this kind of talking to the audience about these topics to be something that you could sort of if you're maybe uh, from the blue collar, he made it accessible to a, a mm -hmm. wide audience. That's where the similarity is. The, the act has sort of had its own nuance. He had an audience there where he would get into their face and scream, mm -hmm. and the audience would scream at the guests. Now, I remember watching this show, and the audience remembers, I mean, they would basically set themselves up mm -hmm. for a huge beating. They get up and they argue with him, and then they just kind of wait, right? They'd flinch, and that was his setup. Was it an act? You interviewed a lot of people who knew him very well. Did they think this was the real Morton Downey Jr. on this show, or, or again, was it an act? Morton Downey Sr., Morton Downey Jr.'s father, was also best friends with Joe Kennedy. Mm. They, he grew, they had a house in Cape Cod next to the Kennedys. You know, he, Mort grew up next door to Camelot. So he grew up in this sort of liberal, you know, northeastern liberal background. Uh, and so he comes out as this kind of right-wing conservative talk show host, you know. So there's what kind of things were motivating him, whether it was the performance, whether it was you know, a reaction to his upbringing, to his father. All these things kind of played in into you know, how, what you saw on TV sort of was constructed. If he were still on the air today, if he were still alive and on the air, what, what do you think his ratings would be like? Well, it's, it's a tough question because he killed his career. So uh, it would sort of depend on whether he was able to, you know, America rebuild. loves a comeback story. Come right. on, right. he can do right. it. If, right. if people were more forgiving, I mean, I remember Morton Downey Jr.'s show after he came back, and it was CNBC, and yes. there was a few different incarnations of it. He was even and in it, some movies like sucked. Revenge of the Nerds yeah. three or something. Right, right. right. I mean, he, Morton Downey Jr., after that, yeah. two-year period, Wasn't it was pretty. no one that even fanboys like ourselves yeah. cared about. Yeah. Right. So it would be a tough sell. I mean, everything about him that you sort of bought was the intensity of his passion for these ideas. So as soon as you realize that, you know, whether or not is he real, is he faking things or what, you mm -hmm. don't see that passion anymore. So you, you're like, okay, you know, that's not really interesting anymore. And what a show it was. The movie is evocateur, the Morton Downey Jr. movie, thanks to you guys.